walking in. And they're off for the 2009 John Smith's Grand National. And this time it was a perfect start. Fundamentalist is settled at the back of the field, so too is Musica Bella as they make the run towards the Melling Road. Stan was one of the first to break the line and so too Irish Invader is right up there in the early stages. Cornish said is also prominent, just hunting them towards the inside is Silver Birch as they go towards the first and Richard Hoyles. Stan and Irish Invader and Cornish set are going to be amongst the front rank to rise at uh, fence number one. And do we lose Himalayan Trail? Himalayan Trail Trail is a faller at the uh, very first fence. Uh, he's a casualty and also Golden Flight appears to have gone. So Himalayan Trail and Golden Flight both get no further than the first as Irish Invader leads them over fence number two at uh, which we also have uh, fallers. Uh, Brooklyn Brownie is down and also down is Ollie McGurn. So four at least have gone as they hit the big ditch at number three. Most of those have taken it well but Seria made a bad mistake. Uh, we've also lost uh, Rev A.A. who's down and Chelsea Harbour is another one to have gone. So they're heading towards the fourth and out in front. A state of play is prominent with comply or die. Rambling Minsters uh, settled back through the field, uh, racing in uh, mid-division at this stage as they make their way on down towards the uh, next and the one before Beaches. And Black Appalachia is among those making the running as they head down to Beaches. Irish Invader is close up and so too Silver Birch with the nose band. Idle Talk is right down the inner and state of play and a blue jacket is in the centre. Kellamy is posted wide and Battle Cry is widest of all as Black Appalachia leads them as they approach Beaches. So Irish Invader and Silver Birch. Black Appalachia over in front and gets over safely. All the leaders have cleared Beaches but Cornish set made a bad mistake as they come on swiftly towards the Foynaven fence. It's Black Appalachia who who leads the field from Silver Birch and Irish Invader and hear the echo and Keller me. Right down the inner is Idle Talk. Stan was a faller at the Foynaven fence. Uh, Artia's right out the back of the field. Can't buy time is towards the rear as well. My Will is back in mid-division. Ruby Walsh is tracking Tony McCoy on Butler's cabin as they take the canal turn. Black Appalachie from Silver Birch and Irish Invader and hear the echo. Idle Talk and Keller me in state of play and offshore account and battle cry in darkness as they make their way down towards Valentine's. Where Black Appalachie leads Silver over Birch, over Valentine's uh, for the first time. The full field uh, streaming over it. Eurotrek appeared to make a pretty bad mistake. Artia is uh, pretty much well tailed off at this stage as Black Appalachia leads Silver Birch and hear the echo. Irish Invader and Keller Me the next over as they all appear, the majority of them to take that. Although Rambling Minster made a mistake in midfield, but there don't appear to be any casualties. Artia also, when tailed off, made a desperate mistake. Silver Birch on the outside of Black Appalachia as they take the next fence. Hear the echo. Offshore account has made ground. Irish Invader is front rank with Idle Talk, State of Play and Kelami also racing pretty handy. Snowy Mornings going right up the inside. Battle Cry is another who's towards the inner and quite prominent at this stage as they take the fence and in a circuit's time will be the uh, third last and uh, we lose at the back of the field there. Musica Bella. Musica Bella was the faller when well behind. So crossing the Melling Road, Black Appalachie leads Silver Birch. Hear the echo. Races in third place. They're being tracked by Battle Cry, Irish Invader, Offshore Accounting and Kelami. Comply or die towards the outside of the field with Cornish set. Then racing in mid-division, we have uh, Darkness on the outside of Snowy Morning. Lammy's going to turn in about a 10th or 11th place, but it's Black Appalachie, winner of the Beecher Chase, pointing his toe as they head back towards the line of fences and head on towards the chair. So it's Black Appalachie who goes towards fence number 13 with a clear advantage from the 2007 winner, Silver Birch, who is racing in second on his outside. Here the echo is in third. And then offshore account as they go over the first the fence is taken in the home straight. Kellamy towards the wide outside. For the first time, Tony McCoy just pushes along Butler's cabin, who's racing in around about 12th place, but he's only at the moment around about 10 lengths off the leader, who is Black Appalachie as he comes towards the fence, which will be the last in a circuit's time. And all the leaders jump that one pretty well a little slow in midfield over that was Southern Vic so now they race on towards the 15th and this is the chair and as they do so it is Dennis O'Regan and Black Appalachie out in front to Silver Birch and Idle Talk on the inside and then hear the echo and after these over the chair came Irish Invader all the leaders have jumped the chair safely at the back of the field a mistake by Parsons Legacy and the one who has gone right on the inside was Cloudy Lane Cloudy Lane is out of the race at the chair over the water Black Appalachie blunders Silver 
Birch over in second. Back in third position was Here the Echo. Irish Invader jumped it in fourth. Towards the inside, Idle Talk is racing in fifth. State of Play improving in sixth. And then on the outside, Offshore Account is racing in seventh. In eighth place is Darkness. Then on the inside, the yellow colours of Snowy Morning. Then the quartered cap of Lammy, who's getting a little bit closer. Kellamy is next to the field, followed then on the inside by My Will, who's hunting up the leading group. And he's racing in the same team at the moment with Butler's Cabin as they race out now towards the second circuit. Tailing off at the back of the field is Euro Trek, who has been pulled up and still struggling at the back of the field. Fundamentalist and also a Sirium as they go towards the next and Richard Hoyles. As it bends with a faller at the water jump as they head on towards the next Black Appalachie, uh, still holding sway with Silver Birch as they set out on their second circuit. Fleet Street towards the rear of the field is under pressure and uh, being strongly ridden. So they head on towards the uh, next fence. And uh, Black Appalachia, who's given a bold sight, continues to race prominently. Uh, Silver Birch comes next with Hear the Echo. Towards the inside is Idle Talk. Uh, back in the field, we lost a couple there. The jockeys just get to their feet. Can't buy time was one. I think Fleet Street was the other as they take the big ditch. My Will is travelling well in midfield. He's making good progress. Amongst those that are struggling, Kerryum, Kellamy. Rambling Minster's been pulled up. Rambling Minster pulled up at fence number 19 as they take the next, to which State of Play makes a very, very bad mistake state of play. Uh, amongst those at the back, fundamentalist Kilbeg and Blade Kellamy, they're completely tailed off. This is the one before Beaches. Black Appalachie still leads. And there were 30 still standing as they set out on the final circuit. Black Appalachie from offshore account with the white jacket. Silver Birch, winner of the race two years ago with the noseband is close up. Some of those pulling up at the back end of the field. Fundamentalist given up the ghost as Black Appalachie goes to Beaches in front and clear. From here, the echo and offshore account and Silver Birch. Black Appalachie's down. Silver Birch is down at Beaches as well. Uh, also, Dan Parsons' legacy nowhere was badly hampered. So here the Echo is left in front from offshore account. My Will has made steady headway to go up into third. Idle Talk is in fourth as they take Foyne over. My Will hit it. Just in behind these Irish invaders, though, going OK. Uh, then Comply or Die towards the outside. Pre-Sleep is next. Monmo in the green jacket is creeping into it from Lamy and Snowy Morning. Then Butler's Cabin and Big Fella Thanks and Southern Vic. As they go out over the canal turn, it was offshore a county lifted off just in head and my will hit that one quite hard ruby walsh was up round his neck they move swiftly on to valentine's for the final time offshore account and here the echo lead the national field as they approach valentine's good leap by idle talk towards the inside my will despite a couple of errors is still in there pitching as well comply or die who's taken the outside route butler's cabin is in this leading group with lammy mon Mom, also pre-sleep and irish invader the loose horses proceed offshore account over the next to which butler's cabin made a bad mistake in midfield Tony McCoy did well to sit tight, but that's put in behind the eight ball as they head on down towards the next. Idle talk on the inside of offshore account, my will, and comply or die. They're the first four to rise. Uh, back in the field, big fella thanks receives a few reminders as the runners make their way now down towards the next. And it's offshore account, comply or die. My will and idle talk. Mon Mom, Southern Vic working into it. Irish invader. Then here the echo. A mistake by Priest Leap as big fella thanks improves towards the outside. Southern Vic receives reminders. But Butler's cabin, after that mistake's interrupted his equilibrium. Artia from a long way back is also staying on. Snowy Mornings in that leading group. They're away from darkness. A couple who are struggling out the back. Battle Cry and Cornish set. But it's a well-clustered group of as many as 15 horses who will turn back towards the second last. For one of them, destiny awaits. Seldom have so many horses had such a great chance of victory in the Grand National this close to the finish, but it is My Will and Ruby Walsh who have now gone to the lead. State of play on the outside. On the inside, offshore account is there. Comply or die. Priest Leap is staying on. Artia towards the wide outside as they go towards a second from home. And it was just My Will who had the lead. There was a mistake there by offshore account as they race now down towards the final fence in the Grand National. Comply or die with Mom Mom on the inside. My Will, the red sleeves towards the near side state to play. These were the first four and it was Comply or Die and Timmy Murphy who jumped the lead over Mon Moan in second. State of play in third. My Will is in fourth. Snowy Morning is now in fifth place, followed by Big Fella Thanks as they race on now towards the elbow and it's now Mon Moan who has taken over the lead for Liam Treadwell on his first Grand National ride. He's gone clear now by six or seven lengths and going away from Comply or Die, My Will and State of Play and racing now with just a 
100 yards to go. A first ride in the Grand National is a winning ride for Liam Treadwell. Venetia Williams trains Monmome to win the National. Can play or die was second, my will was third, state of play was fourth, staying on Syrian was fifth, big fella thanks was sixth, but was Cameron was seventh, Southern Vic was eighth, ninth was Snowy Morning, tenth was uh, after, after these came Artia, and then Irish Invader, Idle Talk, Darkness and Pre-Sleep.